everybody, thanks for dropping by. This is Ian with Rail City. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you find this video helpful and check out the new music playlist on my profile for brand new self-recorded uh, indie rock DIY stuff from my band, uh, Rail City. Today we're going to be taking a look at how music recorded through the stock preamps on a Tascam US1608 audio interface compares to running the signal through a Golden Age Project Pre-73 Mark III preamp. The same mics were used on both of the, um, you know, sets of instruments and vocals that we're going to take a look at. But, you know, if you're watching this video, you're probably considering buying a Gap Pre-73. I'll let you be the judge of whether you like the sound of it better compared to the stock preamps, the pretty standard, not fancy stock preamp on a, uh, on the Tascam interface. Here we go.
internet. But not because I don't like what I got. I just feel like it's time. I got business cards and fax machines. I got receptionists. They keep my office clean. I call the shots. I give the green light on the internet. On the internet. On the web. I started a new life. On the internet, on the internet, but not because I don't like what I got. I just feel like it's time. I got business cards and fax machines. I got receptionists. They keep my office clean. I call the shots and I give the green light. On the internet, on the internet, on the web. There you have it, folks. That's how stuff recorded through a Golden Age Project preamp sounds compared to not using it and just running it through your stock preamp. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section or any uh, anything cool to say. And don't forget to check out my channel. All I post about is music, so gear reviews, songs that me and my friends write and record and stuff like that. And uh, I hope you have a super great day.